evening, Joe for Jaspie's evening. Yeah, evening. Good evening, Joe for Jaspie's Hobbyland. Here we are doing 2017 Rittenhouse Game of Thrones Valerian Steel. It's a one box random pack break number nine from jaspieshobbyland.com. Anthony, Alfonso, Charles, thank you very much for getting into this break. We've seen some nice stuff come out of here. Now I have to admit, I don't watch a lot of Game of Thrones, so I don't really know a lot of the characters. So I apologize for butchering some names here, but. What I do appreciate is the quality of these cards. And, and I know the hobby. I appreciate the quality in here. So hopefully we'll get some really nice stuff out of there. All right. They serial numbered all the boxes. There you go. Let's see what we do, what we get. Um, if there is a bonus pack at the bottom, that'll be randomized to one person in the break. That's how we've been doing it. Usually that bonus pack indicates uh, there, there won't be a hit in the one of the regular packs. So just keep that in mind. And no bonus pack. So all three should have hits in them. We have another box in the store already. So please go ahead and check it out. So let's flip back to the list here. There are the pack numbers. Let's roll the dice. Four and a four. Eight the hard way. Four and a four. Eight the hard way. Names first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Charles with Last Spot Mojo on top, Alfonso on the bottom, Anthony in between, stuck in the middle with you. We'll randomize the packs too, four to four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Three, one, and two. I don't think anyone's going to trade, so we'll just break. Right, no one's trading, right? All right, so Charles with pack three. Kike Hernandez, home run. Sorry, we're watching the Dodgers game too. Two nothing Dodgers. Nice. All right. We're gonna start off with Shea, and you got an autograph. Owen Teal. Nice on card autograph for you, Charles. We've got the lenticular, which is pretty cool. And then we got uh, Melisandre from Game of Thrones. I don't watch a lot of Game of Thrones. I've maybe seen one or two episodes, but I should watch it. Everyone's like, you got to watch it, Joe. Get some blank cards here. Use these blank cards to keep track of all these hits. So that was for you, Charles. Thank you very much. Jason, 19. That's pack number three, Game of Thrones number eight. All right, thanks, Charles. Next up is Anthony with pack one. Good luck, Anthony. All right, Sarah Jora Mormont. That reminds me of the Chateau Marmont here in uh, here in Los Angeles. And we've got what appears to be a dual autograph. Nice. Peter Dinklage and Nicola Coster Waldau. Nice. Dual autograph. It's a nice one, Anthony. Not serial numbered, but pretty solid. Lannisters. Saw Peter Dinklage at a hotel in Brooklyn. I told the story yesterday, too. Uh, didn't really know who he was, why he was significant. And then everyone was like, Game of Thrones guy. And I was like, all right. 96 out of 100, Marjorie Tyrell. Name dropping, of course. And Podrick Payne. Podrick Payne, which reminds me of Pod Racing. 
more of a Star Wars guy. That's what it comes down to. All right, Anthony, thank you. Alfonso, you're up next with the last pack. Actually, this is Game of Thrones number nine. All right, last pack. And there's another one in the store, so be sure to check that out. Good luck, Alfonso, with pack two. So these should all have hits in here. We got Quiburn And a gold ink autograph of Isaac Hempstead Wright. Nice. A little bend on that card there from the pack. But the top loader should straighten it out. Nice, there you go, Alfonso. Uh, I like these laser cuts right here. Tywin. Laser cuts look pretty cool. And then another metal card of one of those winter guys, I think, right? Night King is one of the winter guys. It's coming, it's happening. Did it happen already? There's a big wall that they have to scale. Something like that. So there you go. That's my knowledge of Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones, random pack break number nine. Some nice stuff, though. I can appreciate this from a hobby perspective. Some really nice stuff. Uh, and I know that it's a high-end product and there's not a lot. And I'm sure it has some great value on the secondary market and for fans of Game of Thrones. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Joe for JaspiesHobbyland.com. We'll see you for the next one. Bye-bye.